So we're going to start with topic 1-1 on page 1 in your textbook. Again, we're on page 1 in your textbook. So for the chapter, we will have several vocabulary terms that are listed starting on page 1. You have a point. So go ahead and take your pencil and write along with me. A point is a zero-dimensional place it's zero dimensional, it's just a point. So one point has zero dimensions. And we just label it as point A, B, C, D through Z. Point A, point J, point K, this is point A. Now, a line, a line composes of two or more points, such as line B, C. However, many of us are used to drawing, don't, don't write this down. This is what a line looks like, isn't it? However, this is not a mathematical line. This is not what a line looks like in geometry. A line in geometry actually goes on for infinity and never ends. Um, you said a point is a zero dimensional. One point, zero dimensions. Yeah, it should look very similar to the board. A line has two points in one dimension. So, a ruler is a great, great guide for what one dimensional looks like. Now, isn't this a three dimensional ruler? I can touch it, flip it around, but I use the measurements to label one dimension of up and down. So if I were to measure this from here, if I were to measure from here to here, even though the board is three dimensional, I measured a one dimensional aspect of it. So up and down, one dimensional. The horizon, one dimensional. A pencil is one dimensional representing, even though it's 3D. Does that make a little bit of sense? Now plane. A plane is two-dimensional, isn't it? A plane looks like this. How many points do you think make up a plane? At least four is what we're thinking. However, it's actually just three, and I'll share with you. So this is point A, this is point C, right? This makes a line. The second we add point B, doesn't that form a triangle? Is a triangle two-dimensional? That's why. So a plane just needs three points to be considered a plane. A line segment. A line segment is a line that has two endpoints. So this is what a line segment looks like. This is line segment C, D. Do you see how a line segment is different from a line? Do you see the difference? A line is written like this. This is line BC. The two arrows go on and on forever. A line segment looks like this. And this is very important. So line segment CD, this tells me that C, it stops at C and it stops at D. Here it tells me that it goes on after B and it goes on after C. Then we have an angle. And the angle just looks like that, no big deal. An acute angle is an angle that is smaller than 90 degrees. It's acute, it's a tiny, it's a small. A right angle forms a 90 degree angle and it always written with a little square. That's a right angle. And then an obtuse
is larger than 90 degrees. So that prefix, OB, think the word obese, right? Ob, obese means large, obtuse means large, okay? Now we have complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles and supplementary angles. Now, underneath complementary and supplementary, I just need you to write a rather large, not too big, but rather large C and a large S. So if we see complementary angles and supplementary angles, there is an S after angle because it is plural. These are two angles that add together. Complementary and supplementary angles, again, are two angles that add up to form a specific measurement. Something like this. Complementary angles, they add up to form a 90 degree angle. Complementary, you're gonna remember the C. When you see complementary, you're gonna write one line down. That's a nine, isn't it? So you'll always remember it's 90 degrees. So you see how if these two angles were to be added together, it would look something like a right angle? Do you see how these two angles, if they were added together, how much would that be? 180. So the S in supplementary can be turned into an 8. Do we see that? So that means supplementary means 180 degrees. I'll do it one more time. S for supplementary is 180 degrees. Does that help with the confusion? C, S, always remember that forever and you'll be good to go. Now go ahead and turn to, once you're done taking notes, go ahead and turn to page five. Is it still recording or did it stop? Okay, great. So we're on page five. Points, lines, and planes. This is your introduction to geometry, lesson 1-1, one -one, points, lines, and planes. Start with number A on page five. Use technology to draw several points. Great, they did it for us. So looking at A, we see a bunch of line segments, points, and all that jazz. So let's start with B. How would you describe a line? A line never ends. So, can somebody please share what is the line on segment A? What's the line on the part A? Where do we see it? We're on page six, sorry, on page five. You see the box in part A? What was that? Excellent, yes. D and E never end. So we would write it like that. And then point, what is a point on this there's a bunch of them, but list one point from the square. Point A, excellent. Part C, what is the difference between a line and a line segment? A line segment has two endpoints. So where is a line segment in part A? That is correct. Line segment B, C, and we write that with a line with no arrows. And then array. Array has one end point. So this is what a steam ray looks like, right? Something like that, correct? Is that what a steam ray looks like? 
Well, that helps you understand that a ray is just an arrow pointed in one direction. A ray is pointed in one direction. So looking at part A, where is the ray? What was that? F and G. Make sure the arrowhead is pointing towards the G because F is the endpoint. So you can write it like this or you can write it like this. As long as the arrow is over top the correct letter. Any questions? Let's flip it over to part E. We're going to skip that one. The diagram shows plane P and plane Q intersecting. How would you describe a plane? A plane has how many points? Three. Yep. So plane P, what are the points on plane P? What are the points on plane P? What was that? Great, and those are two. Is there one more? Q. Is Q on plane P or plane Q? So what point is on plane P? array or a line segment? Is BA, huh? Okay, great. And A and B, is A and B form a line, a line segment, or array? Why? Because it doesn't end. Doesn't end. So that is line A, B. That is all for part E.